have a heart for young Indians in their late teens. After higher secondary school, what should they opt for? Engineering and B schools are the commonest academic tracks. But choosing one of them is turning out to be increasingly like choosing between the devil and the deep sea. Let's face it, completing academics and entering a career when the job market is down is like a double disaster. You've spent money on college education and it isn't paying back, unlike you thought over promised. And you enter the ranks of the NEET, the acronym for Not in Education, Employment or Training. Sad fact is millions of India's youth are in such a spot after having completed engineering or MBA. India's engineering courses are losing their sheen. Low enrollment, placement rates present grim picture, reported the print recently. A recent report by Unstop, a talent, attraction, assessment and hiring platform has laid bare the gloomy statistics. India's top graduates are facing a job crisis. 83% of engineers left without offer. 50% MBA holders jobless. Worse, many are struggling even to secure internship offers. The Unstop Talent Report 2025 is based on a rather comprehensive survey of 30,000 Gen Z professionals and 700 HR managers. One of the reasons why we have so many millions of unemployable graduates is the fraudulently inflated marks given to students in schools and colleges. So many who do not deserve to be in university land there. For more on this, watch the geometric episode, The Class 10 Fraud. Thank goodness the students have now started realizing how worthless these inflated marks are and the equally worthless awards, trophies and certificates that they accumulate from kindergarten. Proof of that realization came from a Delhi University student this week. Identified as Bisma Farid, she says her numerous certificates, medals and trophies have not helped her during her internship interviews. I have 50 plus certificates, 10 plus medals and 10 plus trophies but not a single one helped me in my internship interviews, she wrote. At least she realizes that academic success and employability are two different things and advises friends, companies don't want to hire toppers with no skills besides rote learning, but people who are proficient in a skill with decent marks. Good advice, but the fact remains, more than 80% of engineering graduates in India do not have a job or internship offer. India has roughly 1.5 million engineering students and over 400,000 B-School students, which would be the envy of any nation. So what a pity if this enormous potential demographic dividend vanishes into thin air. MBA and engineering were once fads, they now seem more like dilemmas. Unemployability was an oft-repeated complaint about India's graduates. Now they face two new storms, AI and multiple nations shutting the door on international students. On the brighter side, these storms present the perfect opportunity to turn our higher education on its head. To save it from the unending lectures, assignments and inflated internal assessments, to picking up some worthwhile skills and developing creative and entrepreneurial abilities. To sign off on a positive note, two researchers at the Kannur University in Kerala, Al Jinu Khadar and Vivi Samir, guided by RK Sunil Kumar, have developed a groundbreaking technology that can estimate a person's height and weight based solely on their voice. The technology is predicted to enhance criminal investigation, surveillance and legal proceedings. Proof that our higher education hasn't totally lost its spark. Mm -hmm.